Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about NFL Draft Bust Analytics, where we profile players that were drafted relatively high in the NFL Draft and look for some reasons based on data or analytics as to why they might have failed to live up to those expectations. Uh, so if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. All that stuff out of the way, let's get to Glenn Dorsey, uh, defensive tackle from uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Glenn Dorsey was essentially a top five overall selection that year. Uh, he was out of LSU. There was a lot of like, he's an SEC player, there's this, there's that, and we're going to debunk some of the sort of things in terms of him. I, I think when you look at Glenn Dorsey from a production standpoint, which I think is a first place to start, he was not that bad. I um, mean, he had 86.38 solo tackle score, 81.42 sack score, and a 84.24 tackle for loss score. As you can clearly see, it doesn't really look like a all pro player in terms of the averages of the position or a pro bowl player in terms of the averages, but definitely looks like a starting 3-4 defensive end, interior, you know, interior defensive lineman. Uh, when you look at the thresholds at the position, didn't really hit the all-pro or pro bowl thresholds, uh, but definitely has good all-around, you know, production. So, like, Glenn Dorsey was not terrible. He was not someone who was just a flat-out bust, and he didn't become a bust either. You know, he had a fairly uh, long NFL career as a starter. But, as you can clearly see from the get-go, his production was not exactly top-five worthy. Uh, and then when you get to his athleticism traits, which I think is the biggest knock on Glenn Dorsey, was he was not that great of an athlete. He only had a 13.52 ex uh, explosive lower body strength score, 46.99 speed score, and 53.70 flexibility score. That combination of athleticism is the biggest question mark here because the explosiveness, there's never been a all-pro defense tackle with less than a 66.96 explosive lower body strength score nor has there been a multiple Pro Bowl type with less than a 51 explosive or body strength score. Um, so it's, it's just that combination of issues with Glenn Dorsey, where his athleticism doesn't look like an all-pro or Pro Bowl level defensive tackle, nor does his production look like an all-pro slash Pro Bowl level defensive tackle, and ultimately he didn't become a multiple all-pro and Pro Bowl defensive tackle. He was just simply someone who was productive, Definitely was someone who became a contributor on an NFL team, but didn't live up to the top five hype. You know, didn't live up to the type of expectations a lot of people put on him uh, for whatever reason. So this just kind of goes to show again, this is the point of analytics. It's not to say that film study has no say in things, but it is a say that maybe you shouldn't draft a defensive tackle in the top five who doesn't have all pro and pro bowl potential athleticism nor does he have all pro slash pro bowl potential production. I think if we if we pay attention to those things more often, we won't make the same mistakes twice, which we'll get into in the next video with Tyson Jackson. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.